Now, how do we manipulate the barbell deadlift in order to milk as much vertical jump power and carryover from the move as possible? That's what we're gonna go over in today's video. Hey guys, before we begin, grab that free jump training I made for you guys, 25 minutes of vertical jump training, absolutely free. About 60% of people that watch the video actually do it. I don't know why it should be 100, but make sure that you guys are in that 60, okay? You can get that using the first link in the description or go into againstsidesathletics.com slash free training. Okay. Now, we have barbell deadlift right here. Some people, when they deadlift, they do different variations. There are, there's the sumo deadlift, there's the traditional deadlift, there's the American deadlift slash um, stiff leg deadlift slash RDL. And it, depending on what type of jumper you are, uh, we're gonna wanna cater our deadlift towards one specific type of form or a blend to achieve uh, as, as much carryover as we can into the move. So for instance, I am a hinge jumper. If you've watched the other videos in the series, we did the, uh, the barbell squats and we have Bulgarian split squats coming up. I'm a hinge jumper, which means that I get really, really deep. Not as much knee bend, but a lot of travel with the hips back, hinging a lot. So in my deadlift form, I'm going to make sure that I do just that. So it's kind of like a blend between a traditional and an RDL, where I'm really keeping my butt nice and high, and I'm up, butt back. And this should mimic exactly from the side. You'll be able to tell that this looks exactly like my jump form. As opposed to if I was more of a quad-centric jumper that keeps his chest up, which I'm not, but some jumpers are, most jumpers I would say, where they keep their, their chest up as opposed to where I am. For a quad-centric jumper, the traditional deadlift is probably gonna be the best variation because it's going to mimic your jump form the best. So again, same stance that you're in your jump. Same stance, but here, chest is more upright. I'm rocking back into it, chest is up. And I'm here. Butt is lower, chest is higher. Last one. And that way, it mimics our jump which will allow it to carry over better into our jump. We're using the same percentage of muscles, so the same percentage of quads, as opposed to glutes, as opposed to hamstrings, rather than always just telling everybody, oh, do deadlifts this one way. Well, that means that some people are going to get, a, get much more out of it than from other people. So having a more fluid system like we do in the World Record Jump Academy, you guys can get my flagship program using the second link in the description or go to againstsidesathletics.com slash world record jump. If you're having a fluid system where you cater it towards jump form, your jump form, you can really allow each athlete on the program to get as much out of the move as possible. So that's how I would manipulate the uh, barbell deadlift in order to get as much out of it as opposed to just having you do one type of deadlift the whole time or one deadlift and then another deadlift and then another deadlift using that form consistently, and then building up progressive overload, weight, keep staying in that low rep scheme over time, is gonna lead to increased leg strength, which will increase to power in a good vertical jump program. With that being said, I'm Chris Bell from Against Odds Athletics. Grab that free jump training using the first link in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.